Hello, everyone. Today I will introduce you uh, batch, batches functionality, especially batches in production. And uh, first of all, we have to set up, set up uh, functional options. We have to um, enable inventory accounting by batches option uh, in, in settings purchase warehouse menu. Now, we enable this option and uh, after that we have to go to company menu all catalogs and go to product categories we have to set up product category that uh, we will choose for products that that are needed to count by batches so let's create new product category I will create two products categories for uh, three accounting methods. Uh, we have uh, FIFA manual and referential account, accounting methods for batches. FIFA means first expired, first out. It's, uh, uh, it's used for uh, products that uh, have um, expiration dates, actually. And uh, we have we have to sell those products that uh, are uh, that will expire soon firstly and after that we ex we sell uh, other ones for example and the uh, main means that uh, we have to uh, choose uh, batches manually uh, every time when we move it or sell it or uh, do something with uh, products with batches and referential means that we don't have to uh, se select batches at all and we can just select it for 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 referential needs so let's uh, enable batches in product category and we have to uh, set up batch settings it's a new database that's why uh, there is nothing set up in here yet. So let's create batch settings. We'll create FIFA one. Let's choose expiration date in here because we, if we don't choose expiration date, we couldn't uh, uh, use FIFA method. You see, now we have FIFA and uh, let's set up it. This, this method for our main warehouses and departments. Actually, you can you you can choose different methods for different business units. It means that if you work with a product with a, with a product, uh, different accounting policy will be uh influence in this product uh, when you when you work it in this in different business units for example if you can use uh, uh, fefa methods in main warehouse and use manual methods in uh, other warehouse but uh, if in, in in our example i will use the same method uh, in one batch setting so i create one product category now i create manual one i copy existed one and uh, now i choose manual one batch number i will count it just batch batch number and uh, choose manual methods here and uh, let's make one more potential let's use batch number as well
Uh, that's it. We are done with product categories and uh, let's uh, create uh, products. We'll create component, component one. We'll count it by CFO, for example. We'll create component two with a menu. And we'll create finished product with a referential product category. For example. Let's enable production subsystem. And um, let's create a bill of material for our convenience. Uh, we will uh, produce product and uh, this product will be contained uh, two components, so component one and component two. We have to create operation. Post pool. I will not explain you what you what I, what I'm doing with post pools and cost drivers because uh, we have another demo about that, and it's not subject of this video. So sit up. I will sit up overhead rates. So now we are done with uh, production settings. And uh, let's uh, purchase uh, some goods, uh, some components for, pro for production purposes. We'll buy component one, we'll buy component two. Let's buy five pieces of them. And um, when we try to pause this document, when we try to pause this document, we couldn't do it because uh, there is not batches uh, set in here. Uh, as we remember, that uh, component one's got FIFA methods and component two's got manual method. It means that when we um, uh, buy it from some uh, some uh, buy it from supplier, uh, we have to uh, put batches manually in 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 both cases, and we we need to generate batches. I don't know, we'll have this. And um, 
it will be batch number three maybe it's okay like this so uh, as as you see uh companies once got expiration date and component two uh, doesn't have because uh, uh, we didn't select this option for uh, product category that belong to product uh, to component two let's post this document post and close and uh, let's uh, generate one more document and we can uh, choose another batch in here one more batch batch number and um, it will be expired maybe in 14 okay and we will choose batch number four in here so we, ha we have two supplier invoices and uh, we can we can see available stock right now available stock by batches, for example. It's a variance of uh, this report. And we can see that uh, there are batches and uh, batches and components like this. We can also set up this report in another way, like uh, change it like this. Oh, no, sorry, one more time. Mm -hmm. No, no way. Um, structure. Samsung went wrong, I guess. Uh, company product batch number. I'll do like this and batch number like this. There you go. So we can see that uh, we uh, regroup those those data now we have component one and uh, c batches for that and component two we have c batches for the for that um, so uh, let's produce our product and see uh, and we can see what we, what we, is going on with our batches uh, in, in uh, related to components and the product we will generate production order for our product. Let's uh, produce seven products. We have to set up start date and due date as well. And then let's choose our bill of material. S set up in progress. And uh, now we have to generate work in progress document. There we go. Uh, work in progress. Uh, work in progress document. Uh, it's a document that consumes uh, components from warehouse or from department. And uh, registers. Uh, operation production operation and it, its cost so set up we know that uh, we we have seen that uh, our components uh, have has balances in the main warehouse so let's set up it in here main warehouse and um, let's set it like in progress and post it and we can see the document would like to have uh, to set up batches and we remember that component one uh, is set with fifa method that's why we can use this option for this and we can see that uh, uh, one one row splits uh to two roads because uh two batches uh, syst system found two batches and uh, as you can see that uh, batch number two will be spent uh all quantity from this batch because this this batch will be expired soonly sooner 
and uh, the rest uh, quantity uh, was taken from batch number one uh, with uh, expiration later. And the system doesn't uh, fill batch for this line because uh, I have to uh, choose the batch manually in here. I can do like this, but system will won't give me to post it because uh, I don't have batch three in uh, as a seven seven quantity. I have batch three just five quantity, and that that's a, that's a message about that. And I have to add another line for batch number four, for example. And let's do it like this. So now we finally post the document and uh, I turn it to uh, complete status. It means that uh, we, um, we are done with all operations and uh, spent all materials in production. And now we have to uh, register uh, uh, products, product release by production, production document. And uh, as we remember that the batch is referential in here, it means that I can post production document without uh, batch selecting in here. And also I can select this batch in here, but uh, any anyway, system will not uh, register this batch in, in the system. It's, it's just for ref because I, I just put it for referential. It, it could be, be in print forms, for example, but uh, system will not uh, count uh, uh, product balances in warehouse or something like that by batches in this way. Uh, so anyway, I will, I will choose batch in here and post the document. I have to modify it. Uh, I have to reallocate this data. So now we can see batch number five. And uh, if we go to our report, we can see that uh, product is, is not in this in this report because uh, product doesn't have batch. Let's gen generate available stock account and uh, report and we will see that we have uh, product available uh, with uh, seven quantity in main department. Uh, let's choose a main warehouse. Uh, it, it prevent us uh, to move this product to from production to warehouse and we will uh, put our release uh, in, in warehouse directly. And uh, if we, as, as I said, if you don't uh, select batch in here, system will, will uh, allow us to post the document anyway, see? So, and let's uh, sell our product. We'll sell three pieces of that. And uh, as I said, also, we can select a batch for this product or not do not do this. Anyway, this document will be posted. Sorry. I just uh, put any of them, any count. And uh, if we choose batch anyway, system will post it. And we can see the batch in the print form, see. 
but as I said, we don't have batches and we can see product by batches. If uh, product category with refer referential method is set up for this product. Look, we can see, we can't see uh, product in uh, in this variant of report because uh, product doesn't uh, have batches uh, that's, that's uh, we uh, account for. It seems like uh, uh, we uh, go through all process with batches briefly. And uh, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me. My name is Alexander Makaveev and uh, I'm a product analyst at 1CI team. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Bye-bye.